Hey, guys, how you doing? Good. Hello. We are founders of iTrack, the world's first tracking device that uses uh, cell ID technology exclusively. Within the proximity of any cellular tower, you'll find this device. So if somebody steals my luggage and takes it to Timbuktu, I can find it? Absolutely. Really? Oh, wow. Really. My background is in location-based services. I have about 20 years of experience in software development and hardware development. We met one year ago and started working together on a product. I think we did quite good. I originally conceived the idea for a cell ID module that would read the cell towers and determine location. The secret to how iTrack finds its location is using the same technique scientists use to figure out the epicenter of an earthquake. iTrack scans all available cell towers, giving a radius from each. When it locates three or more, the software figures out where the radiuses overlap, telling the user the location. The more towers, the better the accuracy. Once all the information is received, a signal is then sent back to the app, alerting you to where the device is. Let's play a little high-tech hide-and-seek. Give me 10 minutes, and I will literally get lost. Yes, okay. Let's, let's try. do it. Bro. OK. We're Please find you. me. <laughs> this is not really a live tracking device. I'm not going to see a little dot walking along in real time. It'll show the interval points on the map. So we get a position report over a certain time period based on what I've set. So I want to know every 10 minutes. I want to know every hour. I'm going to try to get as far from them as fast as possible. Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh, she's area. back behind us. I'm here. Where are they? We're coming for you, Brooke. If I'm a lost child right now, I'm crying. It says I'm right on top of his dot, at least. Brian's probably getting like a mocha frappuccino, double blended upside down something, caramel macchiato. Ah, oh, oh, there he is. There he is. Yeah. It's about time, man. This is interesting. On one reading, the dots were on top of each other, and Brooke wasn't there. Now that we found him, the map shows us over a block apart. Yes. <laughs> were you running around in circles, or what were you doing? I've been here for quite a while. I just took the subway over here. The subway. Oh, oh really? That's what threw That's us. why we were a little bit confused. <laughs> I was starting to wonder if this was working at all, to be honest. We knew you were in this area. It's just a matter of finding you. Very cool. Clearly, the device is reliable when it is near cellular towers. I am confident our product is really good. So we were kind of expecting such kind of result. Now I get to see what the potential demand is for each product. Do you have any concerns about iTrack? Sometimes you don't have a lot of service in different areas of the country or even abroad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess the question is, maybe there's an emergency function on it where you can enter into real-time tracking mode. I think it'd be really useful. How much would you be willing to spend on this product? $100? $100, 120 iTrack is priced at $49. How likely would you be to purchase one? I could definitely see using more than one of them when I travel. You knocked it out of the park on all accounts. They like the item, they like price, they knew what to do with it. That was outstanding. But don't forget, we had some problems in the test, so we are going to have to get over those or else this whole thing is cooked. <laughs>